Hello and welcome to my video about the Trinity Polysynth module. I think we will start our lesson today with some sounds. Those modules come without uh, programmed sounds, so I will show you my sounds. You can store up to 18 sounds and I have made 18 sounds. Let's go! Okay, after you've listened to my sounds, by the way, without any effects, just this thing here, we can start creating our voices. I show you how it works. First, this device here is a three voice polyphonic synthesizer. You can play three voices at a time. You can choose between three sets of sounds by holding down the page button, which is this here the lower right button and then pressing one of those three buttons. This activates set 1, set 2, set 3. Every set consists of six sounds. You can play three sounds on those buttons or you can hold this button here and play the other three sounds. Or this button, you tip this button and you have changed the page on this set. You can store up to 18 sounds. 3 sets, 6 sounds, 
18 sounds total. Now we learn to edit those sounds. This page button, you press it, you see this LED circle through four different pages. A white page, a red page, a green page, a blue page. Every page has a different meaning. We will start with the white page. On the white page we can change the characteristics of the sound. On the top knob here we can change between a subtractive uh, synthesis, which means the oscillator goes through a filter. We hear different filters. We have four different oscillator wavetables, a sine wave, saw wave, distorted square wave and uh, noise, which you can hear. Plus four resonant filter types, which is low pass, high pass, band pass and notch filter. If we go to the higher levels of this knob here, we can go to the frequency modulation range of this synthesizer. We have also four wavetables, uh, sine wave, saw wave, distorted square wave and uh, noise. This for both carriers, because this is a two operator FM synthesizer. On this knob we have the LFO characteristics. If we don't hear anything, uh, probably another setting is not uh, letting us changing it now. On the right knob we have RDSR characteristics. We can add a lot of variation to our sound. Have, uh, if you have seen it, this Trinity protects uh, the settings. We have to turn each knob until this light flashes. We have to reach the original setting, then we can change the sound. Before we have not done it, we cannot change it. This is a little bit of protection. Very crazy things are possible. Let's go to the red page. The red page is for color shaping. You can turn the top knob to adjust the bass frequency. When we are in frequency modulation mode, we can change the bass frequency. When we are in subtractive uh, synthesizer mode, we can change the main oscillator frequency. And we are in a frequency modulation mode. Uh, you can hear probably. Also very crazy stuff possible here. From totally normal sounds to real crazy stuff. Okay, here we change the main oscillator frequency or main carrier oscillator frequency. On the left knob we can change the filter cutoff when we are in the subtractive mode. We have here but we are in FM mode, here we can change the modulation oscillator frequency. You can hear the second oscillator. The right knob is for the filter resonance in subtractive mode or for the modulation amount in the FM mode. Now we can change it. We can go back to the white page and change to something subtractive and go to the red page. And now we can turn the bass frequency. And here we can uh, change the filter cutoff. On this knob we can now add the, the resonance. If you go very deep you get this nice artifacts. Okay, this was the red page. Now we go on to the green page, which is LFO, low frequency oscillator. On the green page we have LFO settings. On the top knob you can change the, the speed of the LFO and on the other buttons some other settings.
Oh, now we are on the blue page. The blue page is for the envelope. The top knob, you can uh, adjust the envelope attack. With the left knob, you can set the stain. With the right knob, you have access to the release time. Complete tone control. This is total awesome. And then we go back to the white page. And we can start over. If you have listened until here, I have a special tip for you. If your solar in this switch here, you can press it and press a button and you have a randomly generated sound. This is very awesome. Every time you hold this button here and press a button, you have another sound. Of course you can take those sounds and work on them. If we want to save the changes, you have to press this button, this button and then set those buttons here. And then you have the changed sound. No, oh, it's a very powerful device. Very simple and very powerful. You have all the possibilities of a big synthesizer and if we come to the sequencing and MIDI features you will see it in a new light again. This is just the sound generation. The sequencing and the playing is a completely other thing. But wait until you will see it. In the next videos we will hear the mono synths and the drum module, but this is this is the polysense. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.